Yeah, it, it is actually. Yes. It's it's yeah. um, it's almost like there's there's a, a, a prologue missing of mm. the good times and their good relationship and, and what they what they were. Mm. Um, we were talking about it the other day. We're trying to find a way in sort of uh, the minute of pre-show action that happens uh, before the actual words of the text, the, before the text starts of how we can try and establish that relationship mm. because we've decided it's quite a happy relationship before yeah. the play starts and that they're yeah. quite, they're successful king and queens and, and at the prime of their lives yeah. before this all goes wrong. So. And I think they're a, fanta they're a fantastic team yes. as well. So they yeah. they host fantastic parties. People like coming and visiting them. Um, and so there's basically so the stakes are high. So there is a lot to lose rather than it's an unhappy marriage and everyone's expecting something to go wrong. I think I think you have to look for clues in the text, and I think generally they're there. Um, we know that Hermione is nine months pregnant. Uh, we know that there's another child. We see a lovely, a lovely scene with the other child, Mamilius, and, and a glimpse of a happy home life. So for me, I have to take that um, and, then, and then work the rest out from there, I think. Yeah, I, I, agree, I agree. I think, with, especially with Shakespeare, um, it's all in the text. So the more you read it, the more you get the clues. Um, like you see the fantastic relationship they both have with their son, Mamilius, um, and how happy they are that there's another baby on the way. Um, and so then you, you, you let that spark your imagination um, and see where that takes you. And I think that's the, the beauty of Shakespeare especially, is that, that it's all there in the text. Everything is there. Well, I think you go with historical mm. context as well. So we've got, we know that we've got a child who's about five or six yeah. years old. Um, we know that that makes Leontes about 29 because he says, I do, do you want to say your line? <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> I do recall 23 yeah, years. So, yeah, so um, I, yeah. Re uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. So looking, yeah, I have a line where I, I pretend, well, I pretend I'm looking yeah. at, at my son's face and remembering how I, I was when I was that age. And I say 23 years ago. Um, so that, yeah, that gives a clue. And also I suppose they would have probably had, maybe unless there were uh, problems which there might be, and we've discussed different issues in, in the relationship as well, but Mamilius might have come a, a, around quite soon after they were married, you know. So, um, so that gives you a clue of how, how long they've been married. It's been an exciting challenge, actually. I've really liked it. it because he, what, what the writing informs me is that he turns like that. He, he's the sort of guy that changes instantly and can change instantly. And that's a, that's a certain personality type. Um, it's, it's not deeply thought out. There's not, you know, um, lots of, of um, rumination about it. He just goes with his instinct, trusts his instinct, and just goes down that path of destruction. He's got a, a real anxious personality. So he's, um, the pressure he's got on him because he's you know, got so much responsibility, he, he almost can't take it. And so anything might make him crack. He's, he's definitely got a very, um, yeah, a very insecure personality, but has to constantly pretend to be secure. And so that's always going to come out somewhere and comes out in their relationship. And I think Hermione probably is a support in their relationship usually with that and calms him down. And because in this instant, it's Hermione that is the cause of his insecurity. There's no one to calm him down and no one to stop him just letting it run away with him. For me, it's just thinking about how, starting with how awful it is if a partner were to accuse you of adultery um, when you're completely in innocent and then taking that further to sort of the rawness of having only just given birth, having given birth in a prison and then to be put straight on trial and the, the, the speed of it actually is very helpful because it means that you, you just have to go with the truth of it and and, and, and Shakespeare's really great. The words guide you. I think the words take you there.
I have been walking around with a pe pregnancy bump for quite a few days <laughs> in preparation. <laughs>